Hey guys. Hey. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, so we're doing something a little bit different this week for um, Shop Small Sunday, where lately, you know, we've been highlighting um, a lot of entrepreneurs and small businesses in our communities that we wanted to support, uh, especially as 2020 has been super challenging for a lot of folks. Uh, but this week we wanted to highlight um, you guys and what you're doing at the Brick City Run Club because I think it's super important to highlight some things that are happening within the communities that aren't necessarily just about um, small businesses but more so about bringing folks together especially throughout this pandemic um, which has been super challenging to do. So uh, without further ado, um, would like to introduce the two co-founders of the Brick City Run Club, uh, Gerald Flores and Lee De Jesus. Hi guys. I know. Um, so I guess just to jump into it, um, kind of what made you guys want to start the Run Club in the first place? Uh, yeah, it was a funny. Uh, it was a funny story. I mean, um, uh, Lee probably tells it better than I can, but uh, it was at the uh, end of. Um, last year, last end of 2019. And um, I was leaving my full-time job at Complex and then me and Lee were just sitting on my couch uh, talking um, and uh, Lee had lost a lot of weight. Um, I don't wanna put your business out there, <laughs> but when you can speak about it, but uh, he had lost a lot of weight just through kind of nutrition and, and dieting. And uh, he talked about wanting to exercise um, and uh, he was just didn't want to do it by himself. Uh, and me, I, uh, been, uh, running for, for a while now, um, running the Chicago marathon a year ago, uh, I've done like, um, a half marathon before I've done like five K's and, and things like that before. Uh, so I said, Hey, like, um, I'll run with you. And that's kind of like, uh, where the idea came from. Yeah. I lost about, oh, uh, as of this morning, I lost 137 pounds in total. Um, amazing. Yes. At my max, I was 390 something, 396. And I'm at 239 ish. So I just straight eating better, stopped drinking soda, no fast food, all that stuff. Um, and then I hit a plateau. So just hanging out with Gerald, I'm like, I need to actually move. I need to do something. And, you know, that's where the, the run club really I mean, at first it wasn't even a club. At, at first it would be just me and him and maybe uh, another friend or two. And then it eventually turned into what it is now, which is awesome. But, so, um, so how did that process happen? How did it go from just the two of you to like more than just you two? Like, was that really thoughtfully planned or was it just very organic? Well, I mean, we, we figured it would eventually turn into something. Um, but our first run was literally like a bunch of friends. Um, so... You know, we, we met up at Military Park and we ran down NJ Pack, and, you know, it was really just a, a group of friends. Um, and then, you know, we started taking it more seriously. Uh, interest started to grow. We started the Instagram and now we're getting like organic reach and people are literally finding out about us, you know, through the IG. Um, so it's it, it really grew from literally the couch to, to where we are now. And it's awesome. And um, I guess, tell me a little bit about how, you know, obviously the club started in the beginning of the year before we knew that we were gonna get locked down and have this pandemic. And then how did, how did you guys sort of like pivot um, through like the early part of the spring when it was really bad in New York and New Jersey? And then um, what you've been doing sort of since then as the club has continued to grow and evolve? Yeah, I mean, I think COVID really, uh, because we started this pre, pre-COVID, um, but I think what the pandemic has uh, really done for us, I mean, obviously it's, it's terrible. A lot of people are getting sick from it and a lot of people are dying from it, which is terrible. But I think uh, if, we, if we, look, we look at it more as um, a stepping stone rather than a stumbling block, uh, and what we found is that it really reinvigorated the purpose of why we exist. And, uh, you know, one, definitely follow what the CDC and, and the science is saying in, in terms of like wearing a mask and, and socially distancing, but there's also a factor of it that no one is really talking about, and that's being proactive 
and doing things that are naturally good for your immune system because there's no mask or social distance that you can put on just having poor, poor health. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not going to cure COVID uh, or cure any disease or even any problem running or anything like that. It's not going to cure those problems, but there are, you put yourself in a better place if you're healthier. Uh, and you kind of like lower the risk. And um, so we, we obviously were running distances before uh, COVID hit, but then when COVID hit, like we had to find a way to, how do we gather a group of people to do this community thing, uh, but uh, safely. So then uh, we, uh, a good a friend of mine suggested, uh, his name is Joe Holder, he's like, well, you can uh, do it on a track, but obviously there's no, Tr not, there's not a lot of tracks in downtown Newark. You got to either go to <laughs> park or you got to go uh, to like Central High or something. So uh, we just like, since COVID uh, uh, was shutting down all events at Prudential Center, uh, all those parking lots are empty on Sundays where normally there'd be people there for like a devil's game or, or a concert or something. So we just turned that um, parking lot into like our little track and where um, people can gather, they can run, they can walk, they can walk their dogs, they can walk and jog. Uh, and uh, we can all kind of like be moving and, and uh, be some sort of active and still remain socially distant, but still kind of like be be together. So uh, that's kind of like how we pivoted, um, you know, because of this thing. And, you know, honestly, like uh, we would, we, we may not have done that pivot or, or find out uh, or found out like the purpose why we really existed if it wasn't for this um, for this virus. Yeah, and I think what you said earlier was so important because we know that um, you know even even as much as COVID is supposed to be like this you know virus that is attacking sort of blindly that hasn't really played out in reality in terms of health outcomes for people because what we found is people who are minorities people who have pre-existing conditions all of those makes you more susceptible to um to to being sick because your underlying health condition might be an issue right because you're from an inner city and you're not necessarily um eating well or working out or all of that so i think you know your point is super important um i think speaking on like just like physical wellness but also like mental wellness so i know that you know you guys also have a a book um club component of the run club and can you share a little bit about that uh, yeah, I mean, it's the Holy Triumvirate is, uh, you know, uh, mind, body, and, and spirit. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, they don't really operate as three separate things. Like, uh, our philosophy is that they operate, uh, they're all interconnected and they're all interrelated. So uh, we do have this virtual book club. If you're not in Newark, New Jersey, you can join us uh, virtually online. And um, we read uh, books. They, they could be related to sports. They could not, but they're all nonfiction books. And they're all things that one, we can learn to um, kind of get wisdom and get nuggets for uh, our lives as athletes or, you know, in our sports, but also, you know, like the sport of life, you know, being in a boardroom or dealing with like a, a, with a bad boss or dealing with like, um, you know, bad clients and, and things like that, uh, or how to sell ideas, how to pitch ideas, how to, uh, you know, manage anxiety. Uh, those are like the kind of books that we read. So we started out with Mamba Mentality uh, since our first run was actually the day that um, Kobe Bryant died and, and you were there. It was a very sad, sad day for- Super sad for, day. Yeah. Um, and uh, then we like, you know, I think we went to like, from there, we just kept really padding onto other books. So like Phil Jackson's 11 Rings, uh, George Mumford's The Mindful Athlete. And uh, right now we're in uh, Bruce Lee's, um, well, uh, the teachings of Bruce Lee written by his daughter, uh, Be Water My Friend, um, which uh, we're finishing up uh, in November, so. Okay, cool. And um, so Brick City Run Club, uh, Brick City being Newark, New Jersey, in case some people don't know, um, but why Newark, New Jersey? That's uh, where we're from. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's literally, Gerald lives in downtown. I live in the North Ward, you know, um, there's a lot of, of community and a lot of building um, here in Newark and, you know, connotations and all this thing about, about the town, but there is a lot of community um, and there's a lot of great things that are happening in Newark. So adding that component to what we're doing and building community and, and showcasing, um, you know, local businesses and things like that, it, it's 
one of the main aspects of, of the run club. Yeah, yeah. so I, I think that's been one of the things that you guys have done an amazing job with. Can you share a little bit about what you've been doing, um, particularly with the post run snacks? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, so uh, we do this workout every Sunday. It's called the Brick City 30. Um, and uh, just a cute way of putting a 30 minute timer and uh, you can run, walk, jog, uh, or you know, do whatever type of movement for 30 minutes. That's the Brick City 30. And uh, it has like two components to it. Uh, one, the movement, and then two, uh, the community aspect of it, uh, where we're not just, um, you know, the community of the runners that are, that are there on Sundays, but also the community which we live. So uh, we always have like some type of post-run uh, recovery snack. I, ideally, we'd like them to be healthier snacs, uh, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but they're so delicious yeah they yeah they, but also like i feel like you earn like a uh you know a pastis from like the iron bound or uh you know like i think we had like uh like uh cupcakes or red velvet from like calandras this uh mm -hmm. this past week um or like french donuts which were really good last week from sahana's which i definitely recommend but i think the, the more important <laughs> thing, uh you know we don't uh we want to um let people know in our run club about these businesses, these local businesses that one have been struggling through COVID. Uh, and, you know, who knows what the future holds with, uh, you know, cases go going up and, um, you know, the, win the winter winter coming in and shutting down indoor dining. Um, but like to let, um, to support these local businesses in this, even, even if it's a small way, but also to let the people in our group know that, hey, this is right around the corner from where you live. Uh, if you're looking for a birthday cake, go to Tommy's Minis. If you're looking for, um, you know, some um, good crisp crinkles, go to like um, um, our friend Kim, who just started her own business, like right here in downtown. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of like where the idea came is, you know, we want to think, uh, think local, but, um, or act local and think global as a, as a, <laughs> as a saying, so. Oh, I love that. Um... So I know in the month of November, you guys are doing a couple special things. So um, I guess, can we talk a little bit about the donation drive? Yeah, well, uh, first, Lee is running his first 5K. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, and so, I, so when we started, I literally never ran ever, right? And about, you know, a month and a half ago, you know, we decided to give myself a little goal and, and make it my first 5k um so yeah i'm on my way there each run is getting me a little closer and closer to that 3.11 uh, i think this past sunday i hit 2.4 uh miles running straight which is awesome but that means i got about a week and a half to, to get <laughs> that that extra um so yeah so we decided to to make it a thing um tracking my my progress so we've been doing that, that on, on our Instagram page, Brick City Run Club, and then um, tying it all together and make it into a community event, um, you know, just a, a fun run, you know, nothing too crazy, but it will be a 5K, 3.11. And, um, you know, we're taking registrations and things like that, but it'll just be, you know, a, a community event surrounding my goal, which was to run that 5K. And it's on Thanksgiving, you lose a couple calories that morning and you go eat the rest of the day. Um, so that's where, where it all started. And then from there, and we, we decided to, to build around it and, and hold a donation. Yeah. yeah. So like you were thinking in lieu of doing like a typical sort of registration where people right. would, would sign up and pay to register to run that, um, sort of the registration would be some sort of charitable donation. Um, right. and, um, I guess, can you share a little bit more about how people would be able to sign up? Yeah, well, uh, you can register um, for, for free uh, on our website, brickcityrunclub.com. Um, you know, we're, we're uh, like you mentioned, Christine, we're not asking for uh, a fee, but we are asking for uh, a donation to go to Apostles House uh, in Newark, which I'm sure you're very familiar with. You partnered with them um, last holiday. Um, so, uh, we actually partnered with you guys <laughs> where we have this great donation box in your Newark store. 
uh, and also at our Sunday Brick City 30 runs where uh, if you bring one of the needed items that Apostle House, Apostle's House needs right now, uh, and especially this time of year, uh, canned goods, uh, there's a lot of mothers and families there uh, who are trying to make their way, uh, winter clothes, blankets, diapers, baby wipes, uh, pasta sauce, um, you know, uh, there's a full list that is on our Instagram, Brick City Run Club. Uh, but um, we are asking in, in lieu of registrations to give a donation, drop it in the box or, or drop it off to us. And then you guys, Noble uh, Newark is so kind enough to um, donate these uh, reward tickets. So every donation that they give a day per day, uh, they'll give one of these, they'll get one of these reward tickets that uh, um, you scratch off and unlock uh, either discount or free pairs of Yeezys or free pair of sneakers or reserve or uh, Instagram shout out, um, little clout boost. Um, <laughs> but yeah. uh, <laughs> a whole uh, bunch of random stuff. Some of yeah, it's really, well, really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I super happy to, to help facilitate or, or coordinate because, um, yeah, we've worked with Apostles House in the past. Um, they've been in Newark since 1984 and serving um, women and, and families in need. And obviously this year has been super, super disruptive for so many families. And so the need is even greater than it's been in the past. So um, yeah, the, that, uh, you know, certain canned goods, um, non-perishable food items, and definitely a lot of winter essentials uh, are something that would be really, really helpful and and hopefully um, stuff that folks have to spare and then can also get in on this run so that we can eat as much turkey as we possibly can later. Um, is there anything else? Uh, if they wanted to sign up, would you ask them to go to the IG or to the website? Yeah, you well, uh, all the information about our run club is, is on both Brick City Run Club. Uh, uh, I feel like Bernie Sanders dot, dot com <laughs> <laughs> or uh, or on Instagram um, or on Facebook, uh, Brick City Run Club. We post our weekly runs there. Uh, like as we mentioned, uh, we're tracking uh, his uh, progress, okay. um, his journey to running his first 5K and uh, how grumpy he gets at me when we <laughs> when I make him. <laughs> run on Tuesday uh, mornings and Thursday mornings um, and information about our book club. If you don't, if, uh, if you can't follow along with the book, we try to do a cliff notes version where we like extract some of the nuggets that we get and, and put them on our IG um, on there too. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you'll, you'll get a good idea of everything that we're about by just um, going to those two places for sure. Awesome. And then can you also share with everyone that if they do want to come out and join the club, um, where are they coming? What time yeah, on uh, Sundays? For now, uh, 9.30 a.m. Um, Brick City Track, a.k.a. the uh, empty parking lot in front of the Grammy Museum on Mulberry Street. Uh, 9.30 a.m. Brick City, do a Brick City 30. Uh, walk, run, jog. Uh, do some type of movement um, or just come for emotional support and, <laughs> you know, just come to chill, have some some cookies or uh, some type of uh, treat from a local business. Um, you're, uh, we welcome everybody. You know, what's great about the Brick City 30 is that there's no pressure. Mm -hmm. It's literally 30 minutes on the clock. You literally, you could run. There's people that, that run circles around me and there's, <laughs> <laughs> there's people that literally just walk their dog. Um, yeah. You know, so there's no pressure. We all start together. We all end together. And that's, I think that's pretty great. Yeah, it's just a group of people. We're just uh, chasing, uh, you know, we have this one goal that we, uh, the saying that we, uh, we all came up with uh, <laughs> earlier this week. It's, you know, uh, building better starts uh, or um, how do we, how do we, how do we are you? <laughs> building better starts brick by brick. Brick by brick. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know why that's it's an embarrassing embarrassing that it slipped my mind but it's like you know you show up for a walk uh you walk for 30 minutes that that's one brick you show up next week and you like uh walk and then you jog for five minutes that that's another brick and you just keep stacking these bricks and then you know before you know it you've built this like beautiful cathedral to yourself and uh that's like really what it is is um we're, we're here for people who just want to build like little by little incrementally and, and not just physically, but, um, you know, in their community, um, you know, in their 
uh, livelihood, whatever that may be. Like we have like CEOs, we have former NFL players that run with us. We have like community organizers that run with us. Uh, we have um, uh, bums who are just on a walkabout for a year like myself <laughs> that are <laughs> running with us. So, um, you so are I mean, constantly on the injured DL list. Yeah, and it, <laughs> but you, you support us in, in other ways, like uh, th uh, this main thing being being one of them, and, and through the. Uh, but um, that's really what is it? It's like I feel like almost that like we we miscalculated by calling it a run club, because, but we we are based around running. But I mean, we just I exist to help people become better versions of themselves. And I think that's that's one of the great things where it really is. Um, not daunting. I think sometimes when people think of run clubs, they think like, oh shit, if I can't show up and run at a, you know, seven minute mile pace for, for 10 miles sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to feel really embarrassed and let me not, not attempt this, but it really is sometimes just, you know, folks came and walk their dog and community and just having that ability to just um, meet other people who are interested in, in building um, in Newark, right? Because I think 100% what you were saying earlier, it's so true that the city is amazing. There's so many amazing opportunities there. And um, it's just creating spaces like this and, and events like this to bring folks together, which is so sorely needed. And so um, I think, you know, you guys are doing an amazing service to, to the city. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, well, thank you for sharing. Um, everything is on the ideas you mentioned before, and hopefully folks will sign up to come run um, on Thanksgiving, but also come join on Sunday at 9.30. Yeah, and they can run virtually too. You don't have to actually physically be there. You know, it's a scary time. Even better, yeah. Right.